Sebastian Vizcaino. Sebastian Vizcaino, 1548-1624, was a Spanish soldier, entrepreneur, explorer, and diplomat whose varied roles took him to New Spain, the Philippines, the Baja California Peninsula, the California coast and Japan. Early Career Vizcaino was born in 1548, in Extremadura, crown of Castile, Spain. He saw military service in the Spanish invasion of Portugal during 1580-1583. Coming to New Spain in 1583, he sailed as a merchant on a Manila galleon to the Philippines in 1586-1589. In 1587, he was on board the Santa Ana as one of the merchants when Thomas Cavendish captured it, robbing him and others of their personal cargoes of gold. The Californias in 1593, the disputed concession for pearl fishing on the western shores of the Gulf of California was transferred to Vizcaino. He succeeded in sailing with three ships to La Paz, Baja California Sur in 1596. He gave this site, known to Hernando Cortes as Santa Cruz, its modern name and attempted to establish a settlement. However, problems of resupply, declining morale, and a fire soon forced its abandonment. In 1601, the Spanish Viceroy in Mexico City, the Conde de Monterrey, appointed Vizcaino general in charge of a second expedition, to locate safe harbors in Alta California for Spanish Manila galleons to use on their return voyage to Acapulco from Manila. He was also given the mandate to map in detail the California coastline that Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo had first reconnoitered 60 years earlier. He departed Acapulco with three ships on May 5, 1602. His flagship was the San Diego and the other two ships were the San Tomas and the Tres Reyes. On November 10, 1602, Vizcaino entered and named San Diego Bay. Sailing up the coast, Vizcaino named many prominent features such as the Santa Barbara Channel Islands, Point Conception, the Santa Lucia Mountains, Point Lobos, Carmel River and Monterey Bay, thus obliterating some of the names given these same features by Cabrillo in 1542. He was the first person in recorded history to note certain ecological features of the California coast such as the Monterey Cypress Forest at Point Lobos. The commander of the Trace Reyes, Martín de Aguilar, became separated from Vizcaino and continued up the coast to present-day Oregon as far as Cape Blanco and possibly to Coos Bay. Much of what we know about Vizcaino's Pacific Coast voyage is from the diary of Antonio de la Ascension, a Carmelite friar, chronicler and cosmographer who traveled with the expedition. One result of Vizcaino's voyage was a flurry of enthusiasm for establishing a Spanish settlement at Monterey, but this was ultimately deferred for another 167 years after the Conde de Monterey left to become Viceroy of Peru and his successor was less favorable. A colonizing expedition was authorized in 1606 for 1607, but was delayed and then cancelled in 1608. Japanese Relations in 1611, Vizcaino carried a Japanese delegation led by Tanaka Shosuke from Mexico back to Japan. In an ambassadorial capacity, Vizcaino met with the shogun Tokugawa Hidetada and his father, the retired first shogun, Tokugawa Ieyasu, founder of the Tokugawa dynasty. However, diplomacy soured due to Vizcaino's disregard of Japanese court etiquette. After taking his leave in 1612, he surveyed the east coast of Japan and searched for two mythical islands called Rico de Oro and Rico de Plata. Failing to find them, he returned to Japan. In 1613, Vizcaino accompanied the Japanese embassy led by Hasekura Tsunanaga to Mexico. In Acapulco, Vizcaino was seriously injured in a fight with the Japanese, as recorded by 17th century Aztec historian Kaim Alpahin in his journal, Annals of His Time. The Japanese entourage continued to Mexico City, and embarked a ship at Veracruz bound for Europe. Dutch Conflict On November 11, 1616, Vizcaino commanded 200 men at the port of Salagua against an attack by 200 Dutch pirates. In the afternoon, both sides ran out of ammunition. Vizcaino's men retreated after the Dutch returned with more ammunition. Death Sebastián Vizcaino died in 1624 in Mexico City, New Spain. Notes <laughs>